Okay, so with this one, we're going to start off here. I'm going to show you the idea of what a cross-processed image is. So we're going to do a new curves adjustment layer. And cross-process can happen in a couple ways. Um, the easy way to do it is to work within, I'm going to work with blue, drag the blue down, right? So we get this really yellow, but then drag the blue up from the left. So in the sh shadows, you're pulling it up and you see the way you get blue here but yet you're getting yellow in the background. It's, it's a really kind of interesting effect. Okay, the other way you can do it, it just gives you a little bit more contrast to do it this new way. No way, wrong way. So I'm gonna take the reds and I'm gonna do a simple S curve with the reds, right? I'm now gonna grab the greens and do a simple S curve with the greens. Okay. Now I'm going to grab the blue and I'm going to do a reverse S curve. So instead of going up, I'm going to go down. And instead of going down here, I'm going to go up. So there's your cross processed image. So when we look at the RGB, you can see that the blue is the only one that's going off from this S curve. And that's how you get this really kind of cool effect being this cross processed image.